Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I want to show you guys something. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you guys have already seen this, but uh, these are watercolor wheels and they are so inexpensive. Um, I, you could use this as your palette. I used it for a different kind of paint so that I have to peel. It'll come right out. I just didn't peel it out yet. So that's irrelevant, but you can use that as a palette as well as there's like a little well in there that you can mix, okay? So, oh, well, these aren't coming up that great. So these are watercolor, and you can see that you get all the colors. Now, are these professional, professional, profesh? No, but I'm going to show you some colors just so you can see what it's like. And this is just watercolor paper, whatever it is, Stratmore, or my cat was up here, Strathmore, or what have you. So I just want to show you what I do. I use... I am not a mixed media, um, how do you say, art snub, art supply snub. I use everything. <laughs> Although I cannot paint in watercolor like some people can. They do the beautiful flowers, and I, I practice, and I try so hard, and I just can't do it. Um, you know, it's okay, but it's not, it's not my kind of, you know, it's not like some other people that do it so good. But let me show you these colors. Um, and I'm going to link down below, uh, where to get these on Amazon. Cause I know so many of you write me and say that you can't uh, get out, uh, to buy, you know, supplies and that kind of thing. So I thought these are absolutely fantastic to use. Um, and like I said, the link's going to be down below. It's for my Amazon. I get like three cents for whatever you buy. If you're interested in these or any brushes or any supplies that I use, um, you know, I'd appreciate it if you would use my link. If not, just go check these out and uh, you'll be, you'll love them. So let me start. I love doing, uh, you know, red, orange, yellow. Go ahead. Em. So, I mean, look, look at that already. So like, let's say, and then you'll see how they dry as well. Some red here. I mean, look how beautiful and you'll see like I said how they dry so it comes with these reds so you can I got a little too much water but that's okay we have that red look at that beautiful that's like a magenta hoo -hoo. and that is delit and then we have this one and you can see I'm getting you know, I don't have as much water, so you can see. Look at that. I mean, that's opaque. These are Koinor, I believe. Love them. So I'm going to go in. Let's do a couple orange. Look at that. And dun, 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 dun. some light orange. This is going to be a wet one. But, I mean, look at that. That's so much water, and look how gorgeous, right? Let's do yellow. And you can see I do these for mixed media because they're all mixed in the colors. <laughs> it's going to come up a little, you know, funky because of the mixture of the colors I have. And you can clean it. I, I love it. But look at that. I'm just one of them people. I like to use these in mixed media. What are y'all going to do? Okay, so where are we at? Yellow. Red, orange, yellow, green. You know, Roy G. Bip. That's where I'm going. Oh, I know this color is gorgeous. Look at this. What? And look at this one. I mean, beautiful, right? I know. You're like, eh. All these colors. But I want you to see, like, the, the variety that you get. Look at that. I mean, that is, those are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Uh, let's do this little one here. I love that color. It's like a citron almost. Okay. Blue and purple we will do. And then there's, you know, there's some brown and all. So we're just going to suck up that color. I'm going to do it. Look at that. Look how beautiful. And then we'll do a darker one. I 
And like I said, I want to show you them dry. And I'm going to mix a couple just so you can see. Um, because I love mixing colors just to show you. But I mean, you can see it's a little too much water there, Cal. And then let's do a purple. Oh, what's that color? Let's see, this is black. Gonna dust that off. What are you? Oh, look at that. These brushes are great. Look at that. Oh, girl. Okay. So. You're seeing that. Now, let's see. Color, you saw black. Let's see. We got brown. Look at that. It's like a, like a raw umber kind of thing going on. I don't know colors. I'm sure there's names for these somewhere. I don't, you know, but look at that. Um, anything else that I'm kind of missing? We got a beautiful brown. We got a. Oh, that's even a deeper, darker. That's like a burnt umber or something. Burnt, yeah. Something. It's burnt something. And oh yeah, I forgot about this one. I love this. Oh, I mixed it with some blue. Poop. But you can see it's gray <laughs> with a little blue in it. But it makes sense. Let's see if I can get them. Uh, come here, B. Yeah, you can see. It's a little drier. Some gray. And then, of course, we have white. I think I might have even hit every everything in here. But you have white, which you can mix with, you know, whatever you want. I still got some gray on there, but white, you know, you're not going to be able to see it on here. But look at these colors, how gorgeous. But, like, maybe you want to mix. Let's see. So, there, let's do this yellow, and then we'll mix. Let's take a little bit of this blue. I'm going to go over it a little bit. Because, obviously, watercolor will reconstitute. And now you have this deep green. So you see how you can mix, and if you want, you know, if you want a little bit more yellow, you just kind of go in and add it. It's almost like a leaf uh, green. Can you see it? Can you see it? And then if we go into, let's see. Hmm, let's do a little bit of red into this. And you can see, look at that color. So, I mean, these are definitely mixable, definitely fun to play with. And like I said, if you don't have a lot of money, but you want to start watercolor, because like I said, I I have Kurataki watercolors, but they're almost gone, and they are very expensive. And I think, I can't remember where I got them. If Emily gifted them to me or I used a coupon, I can't recall. And they're nice. They're very nice. And I know there's a million other ones out there. But um, these I've had for years. And this is my second uh, one because I've already went through the other one. And I love them because, now, I, I would let these dry before you put them away. They'll get, they might get moldy. I don't know. Um, but this is something else I do. Because I'll use this as a background now. But, you know, because there's a little extra water. But leave them dry. But if, you know, once they're dry and you go to put them away, they just screw on. Like this. See, I, this is life for me. Everything, it's everything for me. Okay. You go right there. But, I mean, look at that. And you can see the pigment, right? And... You can see why well, I'm a mixed media artist and not a watercolor artist, but, and like I said, you can mix in here as well, but I ruined that. And then it's like this. And what I love about this is I will take this, I will take my paintbrush, which I'm in love with these right now, but for watercolor to play with. Um, 
and you can put this in your bag when you go to the doctors and you're in the waiting room or some of us have the IV medicines and all that kind of stuff and you have to sit for hours and you know sometimes you want to be creative this this or even better if you have a water uh, watercolor pen you know that you fill the water and do it oh my god so much fun so you know th these are great I'm gonna link them down below I'm also gonna link another watercolor inexpensive one down there that's a palette because I know some people want it like a palette that would be down there as well but I mean these are fantastic and if you want to le learn watercolor or you want to use it in your mixed media or whatever this is the way to go like I said you'll see me make a background with this but I mean look at this what is that? That's a drip that went in there and that is delicious. This is in mixed media what I will not cover. Same with this. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's certain parts. Like I love doing this and then I go in and I'm like, okay, I'm not covering that. I'm not covering that. I'm knocking everything over. You know, I might go in and see, I get too excited, but I'll show you anyway, because that's just how excited I get. I'll take a little water. Like here we got different colors and I'll go like that. Now look at that. Look. What? What? My dog's like, no, I don't want that. And you just squirt and squirt. And it just does this deliciousness. Maybe a little there. Yeah, and I'll run it. Okay, I could sit and play all day. We're not, I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to bore you. Um... The only thing I will tell you is if you get a big puddle like this, although delicious, I just like to do a couple dabs just to get some of that water up because otherwise it'll just run all over, you know. But you see, I'm just taking a paper towel and like dipping it in and letting it pull up the water and you get a pattern right there. So, I mean, like I said, mixed media artist stuff, I can tell you. <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking on myself. Okay. That's all I'm going to keep you here for today, but I wanted to show you these, and like I said, links are down below. They're on my website. I love these. They work beautifully. You don't have to sacrifice your color uh, or opacity, or if you want it even, you know, a little bit more translucent, it is up to you. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I have a couple t-shirts coming up that I'm so excited for, um, so I'll let you guys know uh, when they are up and that I've been working on and yeah I just love you guys so very much and leave me a comment uh, on what you guys think of this and I know some of you already have these because I've been using these forever let uh, others know down in the comments what you think of these so I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys and bye bye